Hi all, my name's Matt, this is my Uniwire project and I thought I'd take this time to kind of give you a little demo using two screens and kind of give you how it looks like if you're affected with two users. Keep in mind I'm a little croaky today because of the um, amount of times I redid my hackathon video and it took quite a lot out of me, but you know, I think this is quite nice. So anyway, this is prototype.unibar.exchange and you can go there now. As a pre-warning, it's currently being judged for the hackathon, so be gentle and I'm sure there's bugs to be expected. If you see anything, just let me know. Anyway, so if we refresh the screen, it asks you to authorize this MetaMask. This has been tested with uh, Firefox primarily, um, so just let me know if you use any other browsers. And what we do is we come in and we just sign and it tells us how many minted assets we have and how many total assets we have. And so this would be assets that we've traded or we've minted, or it could be even be receipts. A receipt is effectively a liquidity pool token. And the reason for this is um, very simple, which I'll go into later, but it means a receipt you can access and get your funds back through a pool. Um, these pools are effectively um, permissioned and so it allows trading without you having to sign every single signature or every single transaction even. So let's continue. So over on this screen here, we're gonna authorize with a different account. Um, let me just scroll down here. And I think let's, let's click on this one, Let's see if that works. So it's on this here. And I think this one is, yeah, it's, we've got one minted holding. So we've got assets. So there is soil. Let's pick one that's. Let's pick one, maybe this one. I want to find one that hasn't got any assets on it at all. Okay, cool. So this one is a brand new account with no assets on. So we can go to mint fungible token. Um, so in this case, it's just a basic Hedera token. Uh, and then we're just going to name this something cool. So let's call this Lilo and Stitch. It's probably my favorite Disney movie. And then the symbol will be Lilo, Stitch. Initial price. The price has no grounds at all right now. And the supply will just put a thousand. We're gonna mint new fungible token. And once that's completed, we can go back to our assets and then we'll be able to see them sitting in there. So here we have Lilo and Stitch and that's their only token we have. Um, and yeah, pretty cool. So if we go to pools, what we can do is we can see the pools that are present. So we can we can trade in and out. Uh, well, we can trade in and we can create a pool. And this basically means that people can take our tokens and they can purchase our tokens from us. And in return, um, we'll get the receipts where we can claim them back. So if, if I, let's say, look, here we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got Uniwire, we've got Soil, we've got Home and Mints, and we've got Rumba the Wonder Horse. So let's do this one here. Do not, do not confuse drama with happiness. Meat coin. So we're going to swap out some meat for some Lilo Stitch tokens. And um, for, let's put 100. We confirm that. And we wait a little while. And once that's completed, it will switch them out for us and then we can check them in our assets. So we cancel and we should see the meat um, has reduced by 100. But if we check our assets here, we should see some meat tokens here. So we've got we've reduced in balance from a Lilo and Stitch and we've got some meat now. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, Let's try to have a look at another account and see how we can make this um, happen. So let's have a look at this side and I'm going to use a different account. I think I'm going to use Unibar Happy Days. And we can kind of see what other assets we have. So if we go to account, We've got total minted assets three, total holdings four, and we've done a test token, we've got a trade token and a trade LP token. Okay, 
So if we go over to this screen here and look for a trade, we have eight and let's do a token swap on that. So let's give some Lilia and Stitch tokens. Let's give them four. Bear in mind, if you go higher, you can't do that. You can't, you can't go higher, you can't lower. You can only give them the maximum that they allow. So we're going to confirm this in. So we're going to get half of the tokens left in the pool for some Lilia and Stitch tokens. Cool. So we'll come back to assets once again. And we've got four and meet. And if it authorized with MetaMask once again, we should have in our pools here. So now we're going to come back as we're going to claim back some of the tokens. So because we've got four and we've got eight receipts, a receipt acts as a percentage of the amount of tokens left. So if we want to get back half of our pool, we need to trade back half of our receipts. So if I, if I say four and confirm, this should reduce the balance of the pool down to two and we should get some leader and stitch tokens or whatever, whatever we created. Cool. So we've got two in the trade and in our assets, we have four leader and stitch tokens. Now, yeah, that's 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 the basic workaround um, currently. Um, I'm sure that there's some things to fix up, but this is where the hackathon kind of the, the project is right now. So have a little play with it. Um, give me feedback. And yeah, this is going to be a project that continues on for a long time. And I'm excited for you to try it out. Thank you.